Hello again. Nowadays I've noticed that the market's actually flooded with um, RGB mood lamps. You can get them everywhere at a very reasonable cost. Problem is, um, the controllers usually, in the ones, uh, the domestic ones, are only really designed for the um, actual LEDs that are attached to them. You know, there's no hackability in any way. I.e., you know, there's no way you really drive on anything any larger than the actual um, power rod in the LEDs inside the fitting. So I thought what I'd do, I thought I'd make my own, you know, something a bit more grunt. Uh, this one I've got in a bayonet, a bayonet fitting at the moment and it's been uh, driven by a little uh, 5 watt switch mode um, just for this application uh, which we'll take a look at at the moment. Yeah, so I've got a few, I've um, incorporated a couple of um, push buttons in the top there. Um, just a few little modes I've created, just uh, just thrown, thrown something together just to get it going. So basically we can cycle through um, all of the different colours, so let's wait for it to kick in. So you know, we've got blue, uh, red, green, purple, just the usual uh, colour mixing with th uh, the three RGB LEDs I've got in there. And then there's um, this is other mode, um, I call it disco mode, but actually anyone who's uh, probably give you a fit actually, but it's um, just thrown together quick just so uh, we just get the thing going. So there it is. Um, yeah, it's quite good really. You can put it in a lamp, you can put it in um, your ceiling fitting, bayonet fitting. Then we go back to the. Uh, um, I've actually got it running in a 12 bit mode just so the transitions are a bit slower and not so notice noticeable. Like some of them are actually quite coarse, um, some of the ones that you can buy. But this one it sort of gradually mixes in all the different colours RGB. So uh, we take it to the bench and uh, I'll show my controller. Yeah, so there's the fitting. Yeah, I actually got the fitting from the pound shop. Uh, it cost me a pound, and um, it was ideal really. It, it, uh, for a pound, you've got um, you've got the actual fitting, and you've got a little uh, five watt switch mode um, power supply, um, which is ideal. I bought it up fitting. It um, had like a, uh, it came with uh, one of these motors inside it. And um, there's the uh, actual switch mode power supply there. And I'd like a diffuser on the top of it, and it was being rotated uh, by this motor. And it um, um, actually had the um, the RGB 1 watt LEDs with it as well, which I've actually used in my fitting. So it's an absolute bargain. So for a pound, you've got the, uh, the 1 watt uh, RGB LEDs, the switch mode power supply. Uh, this mode, which I would probably use on a um, another project, and um, and that's it. So it's a bit of a bargain, really. Um, I've uh, the push buttons in the um, the side that I've incorporated in there. Obviously, I brought them, but other than that, it was uh, the fittings not a problem whatsoever. So um, let's, uh, let's take a look inside, and I'll show you my controller. Have a look. So that's just this diffuser just clips in. And there's the actual uh, uh, one watt RGB LEDs that actually come with the original fitting from Poundland. And uh, there's my uh, controller in here. Just take this top off. Uh, excuse the crudity of the uh, soldering. I had a bit of a problem with my iron. So um, just zoom in there and I'll show I actually had the uh, PCB printed professionally by Euro Circuits and I must say that it was um, quite an enjoyable process with them. Uh, uh, five, within five days it was delivered after sending the Gerber Ger files and everything like that. It's amazing. I actually got five, uh, actually I paid for five PCBs. Is um, one here, and it cost me uh, 50, 50 pounds, which is a very good price, I think. 
and uh, they actually put an extra two in for me for free so uh, I would highly recommend them, Euro circuits anyway let's go back to the uh, actual controller yeah the controller's based around the uh, let's just uh, move in there a bit more yeah I oh know the soldering's crap but not to worry yeah the actual controller's based around the PIC 12F1572 which is an 8-bit free channel PWM microcontroller and um, really good uh, I've actually got the, uh, the PWM 12-bit mode at the moment um, you know hence why it's such a smooth transition from the different colours uh, now certain the, uh, the transistors I'm using, the driving transistors they're um, BD237G, they're uh, medium power MPM uh, 2 amp transistor so they could uh, quite easily carry 2 amps so you know I'm not um, just confined to this one project I can uh, drive much larger LEDs and another good thing about it as well with this actual board that I've had printed uh, I've actually got uh, 2 inputs and 3 outputs so I'm not again I'm not just confined to this um, this uh, mood lamp, you know, I could use it for other um, projects uh, basically PWM it's um, switched to the common ground so you've got uh, uh, three channels, um, 12 volts there um, the ground is basically switched by the, uh, the microcontroller uh, the PWM to ground so uh, that's it really um, yeah, it's based around the power, power supply and there's just a little uh, 5 volt Zener. So again, your, um, you know, it worked from anything from 7 volts up to 30 volts. And uh, that's it. Uh, also, I've actually incorporated one of my controllers in, uh, in an actual ornamental fitting. Wait, I'll see if I can show you. Yeah, there it is, just set up. It was actually incorporated, I did just a couple of white LEDs in there. So I've just drilled a couple of holes in the bottom of it for the push buttons, and uh, it's a lovely diffuser. Apparently it's called a duck egg. But again, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite a nice visual thing. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I, will, I will be putting up the, uh, the schematic and whatnot on my uh, website. And um, the hardest part for me was again um, being a hardware man, the, the uh, writing the actual code for the pick, which is a bit of a bloody nightmare. It's basically basically runs it on PWM, and there's a piece of code in there that just randomly um, randomly spits out uh, PWM on the different channels, and that's how we get the. Uh, uh, the mood lamp effect. Yeah, there's a couple of links there. You could uh, obviously, if you're driving some a bit, um, if you're driving a uh, small, tiny lad, you can actually put some resistors in there for current limiting. But at the moment, I've actually incorporated these resistors uh, in the actual top of the fit in there rather than because I'd already. Um, put together this controller and already linked it out for some, uh, for some larger LEDs that I'm looking at at the moment. So that's enough for me waffling on with my boring voice. Uh, there you go, there's a few things acting there, that we I've hacked in that 10k resistor. I just had a problem with my soldering iron for some reason. Uh, that's what you get when you don't use chisel tips. What a mess. But I, I promise that um, the actual PCB in there has actually been soldered professionally by me, um, but I'm not going to take it to bits. <laughs> okay then, thank you.